Hello everyone, today we're going to be solving exercise 7.18 even before odd from practice it the website and this is the java 5th edition so make sure you're on this edition or it might be a different problem and the problem reads write a method called even before odd that accepts an array of integers and rearranges its elements so that all even values appear before all odds for example, if the array 5, 4, 2, 11, 9, 10, 4, 7, and 3, then after the method has been called, one acceptable ordering of the elements would be 4, 2, 10, 4, 5, 11, 9, 7, and 3. So the, exa the exact order of the elements does not matter so long as all even values appear before all odd values. And the array might contain no even elements or no odd elements. And they're telling us not to use any temporary arrays in our solution and to not call arrays.sort. So what we're going to do is I made a little example array right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to run through the entire array, every single value, one by one. So we're going to use a for loop for that. And we're going to have a index value, first set equals to zero. And all this does is this is keeping track of how many even numbers we have so that we're going to put them all in the front of the array. So this index is used to determine where the even numbers are going to go. So first, the first even number we see, we're going to put it in index value zero because that's the front of the array. And the next one we see after that, we're going to put it in index value 1, right? Because that's the front of the array, and we don't want to replace the old even number we put there. So what we're going to do in this example is first check if the number we're looking at is even. So in this case, 5 is not even. So let's move on to 4. And 4 is even. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our index right here and switch that value with the even number. So our resulting array would be this. And then we're going to keep on checking. Let we go on to 3. And is that even? No, it's not. So we move on to 2. And 2 is even, but we've incremented index by one because we already switched once and now there's already an even number taking up the spot of zero so now we're going to move this even number into index value one so we're switching these now and our resulting answer array is going to be four two three and five so how do we code this well first we're going to have to create the method public static int array and we're going to put int array because we're returning an int array as an answer and then the method is called even before odd and then we're going to be taking in uh, an array and I'm just going to name it nums and the first thing we need is a temporary integer variable just to make this switching process um, possible. And then we're going to need a index variable. And that's the one I was talking about right here. And then we're going to do the for loop to get through each value in the nums array and check them make sure they're even and then switch them when necessary so if nums and then i in modulus 2 is equal to 0 so what this means is if this number right here where that we're checking is even and modulus is remainder. So if the remainder divided by 2 is 0, that means the number is divisible by 2, which means it's even. 
So if it's even, what did we do? Well, first thing we we want to make this temporary integer variable equal i nums i and then set nums i equal to nums in and then finally change this index equal to t then at the very end we're going to add 1 to the index and all it's doing right here is if you look at this process what it's doing is let's use 5 and 2 as the example so what it's doing is it's setting the temporary variable equal to 2 and then it's putting this 5 so nums so it's going to put 5 in here and then that's what this this statement is doing this and then nums index equals t this statement is when we replace this right here with t which is 2 so all this all these three lines are doing is just switching two values and then of course we need to add one to index so we don't replace one of the values we already put there so at the very end we want to return nums and this is going to be our edited nums, which is going to be the answer. Let's see if it's correct. And there we go.